Hi, Larry Weiss here at 10K Solar, and I'm going to show you today how we use the SAM program from the National Renewable Energy Laboratory to model the energy output of a 10K solar PV system. Uh, we've made it simple because we built templates that include all of our technical data, and all you have to do is fill in the parameters for your specific site. So I'll walk you through the fields and the tabs in SAM, and then we'll do an actual example. You can download the latest version of SAM at the NREL site, sam.nrel.gov. Just go to download and it'll give you options for your particular operating system. Uh, at the 10K Solar site, 10ksolar.com, you can download the uh, SAM how-to guide. The guide will be a helpful reference to you in filling out the specific fields that we'll be walking through today. There are two basic 10K solar PV systems you can model in SAM. The Reflect system, where a 10K solar module is paired with a smart reflector. Uh, this is designed for more energy per installed watt. And our Duo system, where two 10K solar modules are installed in tandem, one at high tilt, one at low tilt, designed for maximum energy per square foot. To make the modeling process easy, we provided pre-built SAM templates that already include technology-specific 10K solar parameters. You can download them from the 10K solar website, and you'll find that we have sets of templates for Reflect 26 and Reflect 28 for the Duo and the Duo A systems. The Reflect systems have templates for every five degrees of array azimuth from 135 degrees to 225 degrees and the Duo and Duo A templates include that same range but go further to the east and to the west. Remember to use the SAM template that is appropriate to the 10K solar system that you're modeling. Choose the azimuth that is correct for your array and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to choose the template for the Duo A system at 175 degrees azimuth. We just open the template and it opens directly in the SAM program. And you'll see on the left-hand side here of the SAM program uh, that there's a variety of tabs. Each of these tabs will open a page where we can do inputs. And remember that today what we're going to be modeling is the energy output uh, of a 10K solar PV array that does not have storage. SAM also provides very robust financial modeling capabilities. We're not going to cover those today because we're focused just on the energy, uh, but you may want to explore those. We'll start with the location and resource page in SAM. Uh, SAM uses typical weather files for creating site-specific energy output models. Uh, so you can go in here and you can type in the name of a city that you're looking for, and you can select a TMY2 or TMY3 file for that city. Uh, for cities or towns that don't have files uh, loaded, or if you want to be specific to a zip code, uh, you can go down here to download a weather file from the NREL Solar Prospector. Just click on the download button. They'll bring up a dialog box. You can type in the zip code, and it will bring you a, a TMY2 file for that specific location. Uh, in the module page, you don't have to enter anything at all. If you're using the 10K Solar 410-watt module, all the parameters are preloaded for you. The only thing you might have to change is if you have a system that's using a 400 watt or a 450 watt 10k solar module and you can find the parameters for those in appendix b of the 10k solar sam how-to guide next is the inverter page you can enter in the name of the manufacturer of the inverters that you'll be using in the search box and select an inverter Remember that the 10K solar inverter buses are actually groups of microinverters that are connected together on a common DC bus. Uh, a full inverter bus generally includes 12 microinverters. Uh, a half inverter bus generally includes six microinverters. If the inverters that you are going to be using on your bus are not listed in the CEC database list from SAM, you can input information to model those either based off of the inverter's data sheet, the inverter manufacturer's data sheet, or the partial load curve from the manufacturer. The SAM how-to guide, Appendix C, will walk you through that process. Next is the system design page. 
Uh, up in the upper right here, modules per string will always be one for 10K solar systems because we wire our modules in parallel. Uh, in strings in parallel, then enter the total number of modules in your array. And in number of inverters, enter the total number of inverters on all of the inverter buses in your array. Uh, the next place where you will have to input is the strings allocated to subarray 2 in this box right here. Um, this value will depend on whether your system is a duo or a reflect system. If it's duo or duo A, enter half of the number uh, that you entered in strings in parallel up here. So we entered 320 and we'll use 160 here. Sam will automatically calculate subarray 1. If it's a reflect 26 or 28 system, you'll enter the number of modules in your array that have another module directly in front of them in the array in subarray 2, and Sam will calculate the number for subarray 1. On the shading and snow page, uh, you won't have to enter any data for most arrays. However, if you have a serious shading issue on some part of your array, you can click on the Open 3D Shade Calculator. This is a tool that Sam has developed that allows you to draw representations of your array and of the shading obstacles nearby. Sam will then create a table of shading values that will be added to the values already in the 10K Solar templates. If you have questions about using Sam's 3D Shade Calculator, check out Sam's help page. On the losses page, the 10K Solar SAM templates are preloaded with 3% annual soiling loss, and that's on a 3% per month basis. This may not reflect snow or other conditions that are geographically specific to your array. To change soiling values for your array, click on the Edit Values box. You can change on a month-by-month -month basis, so nonlinearly, or if you want a single value for the entire year, you can type that in there, apply it, it'll apply it on an overall basis, tell it OK, and then you would repeat the process for subarray 2. That's all the information that you'll have to input in order for you to model a 10K solar PV system in SAM. Uh, SAM, again, has a number of financial uh, options that we're not exploring here today because we're looking only at energy. And remember that a lot of the technical data about the PV system, the 10K solar PV system, has already been inputted into SAM for you. So let's take a look at how we model an actual system. I'm using a DUOA system in Los Angeles. It's a 364.9 kW DC system, 243.6 kW AC. Half of the modules are facing nearly south at 178 degrees azimuth and 25 degree tilt, and the other half are facing nearly north at a 358 degree azimuth and 16 degree tilt. We'll refer back to this page for additional information as we go along. Because this is at 178 degrees azimuth, we'll use the 175 degree template. We recommend that if you have a non-exact multiple of five degrees that you take the template that's further away from due south to be conservative. So we'll start with the location. And we will look for Los Angeles. And we'll select uh, the Los Angeles International Airport TMY3 file. Uh, in this example, we'll be using the 410 watt module, so we don't need to do anything on the module page. On the inverter page, we're going to select Lead Solar LS700S 277 volt because the building service is a 480 volt three phase. In system design, we'll enter the total number of modules in the array. You can see that that's 890 modules, total quantity there. And we'll put that in the strings in parallel box. And then for the number of inverters, we see that there are 29 full inverter buses, 8.4 kW inverter buses. Each of those has 12 inverters. So 29 times 12 is 348. We'll put 348 into that field. It'll show that the uh, DC-AC ratio was 1.5, right about where we want it. Uh, in the subarray 2, strings allocated to subarray box, we have to put in, because this is a duo A system, we'll have to put in half of that 890 number, 
So that's 445. And you'll see that in subarray one, Sam calculates 445 that are facing south. You don't have to do anything with tilt or azimuth. All you have to do now is to hit simulate. And Sam will kick out a modeled summary of the energy production. In this example, the 10K Solar Duo A array would generate total expected energy of 513,549 kilowatt hours in year one. Note that the summary shows a number of financial outputs. These numbers are not accurate since we did not input any financial data, uh, but if you're interested in uh, knowing how to use SAM for financials, again, the SAM help section uh, has a great deal more information for you. In addition to the summary, SAM provides a wide range of other data points. For example, under losses, you'll find a PV SIS style loss diagram that many uh, installers use. Under data, there's a large number of options that are broken down into single values, monthly data, annual data, and hourly data. Three data sets that we use regularly are the monthly data, where you select PV generation AC, and it'll give you your January through December values. Under annual data, you have to scroll way down to energy, and it'll give you your 25 years. And then you can generate an 8760 file in hourly data by selecting electricity to from the grid, and note that it's to and from, and in this case, it shows up as negative values everywhere, and that's because SAM starts by assuming an electric load. We have to go to the electric load page. We just scale it down to zero so that there's no assumed electric load here. And then when we simulate again and go back to the 8760 file, you'll see that it has positive values during the daytime hours. SAM also illustrates a wide range of time series data sets. So you go to time series and you have the option to select two different approaches, uh, two different boxes or one where you can overlay values. So let's take the GHI and your subarray one plane of array uh, irradiance. We could do those in, uh, in two separate boxes. We could overlay them in each of those boxes. Uh, very wide range here of data that can be compared that way. And you can zoom in on this data and you can get it at daily and hourly values. If you go to profiles, you can find this same data. So again, GHI and we'll do subarray one POA and those can be overlaid here and it's on a monthly basis. So a wide range of different ways to take the data that SAM has generated and make it usable to you. There's more to explore with SAM, but that's how easy it is to model the energy production of a 10K solar PV system using SAM and our 10K solar SAM templates. Uh, for more information and background, see the SAM how-to guide at 10ksolar.com. I want to thank you for your time, and I hope this is helpful. Thank you.